Welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today's video is a little bit different because it is wedding DIYs. As you may or may not know, uh, Zach and I got married um, on the 10th. So that was just a few weeks ago. And I had filmed all these DIYs before the wedding, obviously. So they were filmed on my phone um, before I got my camera. But... I just wanted to put this video together and show you guys what I made. I have more videos coming because I did a few more DIYs than just these, but I wanted to throw a couple into this video. And I also added some wedding pictures at the end of the video, and I'll add more in the next videos to come as well. But for this first one, I'm just making a guest book. Now, this is not a traditional guest book, of course, but there's so many different out ideas out there on Pinterest. And I saw something kind of similar to this, but I found this heart at Walmart? No. I did find one at Walmart, but I didn't like it as much as when I found this one at Hobby Lobby. I found this heart and this like sign thing at Hobby Lobby in the woodpile section and they weren't too expensive for something really nice for my wedding so I definitely was willing to spring for that um, but all I did was write our names and the date on my Cricut and put it right onto the heart and that was it for that one. Now for this next one, it kind of went along with that guest book, and I just made a tiny little sign that said, please sign outside the heart. As you can see in the picture, people are signing outside of the heart area, and I did use repositionable vinyl that I got on Amazon just because if I wanted to use some of these pieces of wood and things for later, obviously not the guest book part, we're going to save that forever because it's beautiful and put it up on our wall um, as you may or may not know also we had to cut our guest count down to just our parents and our kids um, because our venue was closed indefinitely so we have their names on there as the perfect size and there was plenty more room if you were having a bigger wedding to be able to fill that up um, but I just made another little sign and I can remove the vinyl from that if I want to um, for later to use for something else. And then for this part, I am just doing some beaded garland. Um, I know this really popular farmhouse decor, like you put it on a jug or a tray or <laughs> pretty much anywhere. Um, but I got these little wood slices from Arteza and I can leave the link in the description, but they already had a little hole drilled into them so you can make ornaments and things like that. And then I had an old piece of music paper from my old music book that I found at the thrift shop and I just cut out hearts and Mod Podge those onto the little um, wood slices. I am, I only ended up using like two of these. I was going to do a bunch for centerpieces, um, but and I only ended up needing a couple because I just did like a little display table where I did the guest book and then some decor on the table. Um, and that because obviously we didn't have like um, dinner tables and things like that. It was just our parents and the two kids. So we went ahead and just went out to dinner after the wedding. But it was so beautiful. We just did a little fishing dock on the lake. We were supposed to be in the lodge. Um, but that part was closed indefinitely. It had a deck on it. So I basically took the decor that I was planning to use and kind of cut it down to a smaller, a little smaller, um, you know, less obviously, and just set up a table with the guest book and put some decor on it and then a little bit of decor onto the dock. And that will be um, in my next video. Um, but yeah, just some really simple stuff, but I think it came out so pretty. And then with the water behind us on the lake, like nature just made it beautiful. I would probably didn't even need any decor at all, but you know me, of course, I'm going to make some decor. So, um, I think these turned out really pretty. I just made a tassel with some jute twine by wrapping it around that card and then I tied it at the top and then I went ahead and added my beads. I got these beads on Amazon. They have like tons of different options. I can try to find the exact ones I got but they're just 
two different sizes and so I left the smaller ones the raw wood color and then or the natural wood color and then I stained the bigger ones um, a dark walnut color and then just did them every other one and then I added a little bit more twine around that tassel to hold it together just cut the bottom and then I tied that um, wood slice on the other side and I think it came out really pretty and I apologize I'm using the same picture for almost every DIY because I kind of grouped them together but you can see how it went together and then I had a little bit more decor on the table that I'll show you guys in another video um, I actually used two of these one kind of draped over the guest book and then one um, kind of wrapped around some of the bottles that I did um, so I will do another video for you guys and show you um, all of it but yeah I didn't get a ton of pictures of the decor <laughs> it was actually really crazy our photographer who was supposed to do our pictures was like really bad at communicating the entire time and then just didn't show up for our wedding um, she was supposed to come around two to do our getting ready pictures and um, she just did not come <laughs> and so when we realized she was not coming um, to do our getting ready pictures we were able to get someone else there in the nick of time like right when our actual wedding like ceremony was about to start so thank goodness we were able to get some really really beautiful pictures and he saved the day <laughs> um but yeah I didn't get we didn't get a ton of pictures of getting ready or like the actual decor and stuff um, but that's okay I may say set up some of it a little bit later just to show you guys um, you know kind of how it did look on the day <laughs> and then um, for this last DIY these were actually some reserved signs that I made I made these when we originally thought we were gonna be having a little bit bigger wedding and we ended up not needing these at all but I figured I would just throw them in so that you guys have some ideas if you are planning a bigger wedding most people need these reserved signs so um, I saw some at Hobby Lobby I think they're like 15 bucks just to buy a reserved sign and they weren't even like as cute as these that I'm making but I actually um, I use that same removable vinyl so that I can use a piece of wood later so I can just remove the word I really like that the repositionable or removable vinyl because um, like a lot of these signs I'm not going to need later I don't need a reserved sign I don't need a sign that says please sign outside the heart you know things like that so I was able to remove that vinyl and use the wood pieces for something else do another cute sign with it for our home or whatever but um, I just used my Cricut for this. Of course, you guys know that there's so many ways to put words on signs without using a Cricut. I just did a whole long, like, hour and a half video <laughs> of just different ideas of how to make signs without using a Cricut. So there's like a billion ideas on there. I'm kidding. Like there's like a ton of different Christmas signs. And I'll leave that video linked in the description so you guys can see um, the way I do that but there's so many different ways you can do signs without a Cricut but yeah I did use my Cricut for these because I wanted to be really super pretty font for the wedding and I got this piece of white wood with the hanger and everything on it at Walmart I believe it was like two to three dollars I can't remember exactly how much it costs because I actually got this a long time ago but you can find really cute pieces of wood like this for really cheap and I think this sign looked cuter than the one from Hobby Lobby and it was like extremely extremely budget friendly compared to that one for $15 um, and so that's just an idea of what you can do I think it turned out really cute and then I guess I'll just leave you guys to look at the photos. 
Also, quick announcement, if you guys made it to the end of this video, you get to hear it first because I will make a more official announcement later. Um, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm starting a new channel. I'm going to be doing a lifestyle channel. It's called The Other Side of Sarah. I will leave a link in the description. It doesn't have any videos on there yet, but I do have some coming up. I already started filming. So as some of you may know, we just moved into a new place. It's not our forever home um, we are renting so we're not allowed you know to do a ton of stuff to it um, but I do want to take you guys along for the process of how we set everything up and decorate everything and um, also just kind of a lifestyle mommy type channel more like day in the life things like that so if you guys are interested in those kind of videos make sure to go subscribe to my channel so you get notified when the first video comes out um, and of course I will let you guys know in my next video or whenever that I have put up my first video and I'll put it on my community and everything like that. So hopefully you guys will be notified. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I'm really excited for it. Um, the kids are going to be in that one a little bit more. Um, obviously, Koi doesn't want to be in every one of my videos. He's a 13 year old boy and he's only here half the time. He's with his mom the other half and he is at school even when he is with us. So he's not here all the time, but also he's a teenager and he doesn't want to be in every one of my craft videos or my mommy videos. Um, so I respect his privacy for sure. But make sure to stay tuned for my next wedding DIYs. I will have this sign in my next video. So make sure to stay tuned, subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it all of your support on my channel and I hope that you guys enjoy all of the content that I put out. I do my best to give you guys good quality content and um, let me know also if there's anything that you guys want to see, any specific requests or anything like that. I'm always open to new ideas so let me know and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye! Thank you.